lunch with, like, if you watched Instagram Live this morning, first of all, I did change my earrings and I changed my necklace. I wasn't feeling it. We'll talk more about that later. But I'm at lunch with Erin, um, taking him for an early birthday, really early birthday, not really, no, month of March birthday lunch. Thank you. And um, we're at Max and Louie's New York Deli Diner Jewish Style Food. And look at the size of this food. That's a chef salad. Just to give you an idea of my, like that's huge. But look at that. I want to see Erin get that in her mouth. I just hold it up to my face because I think it's like the size of my face. Can you even pick it up? No. You're gonna, you need a knife. Like that's crazy. Why? Why? I mean. Right? No. It's gonna have to. That's a knife and fork option or something. Shane has requested like a shrimp scampi and so I'm making a modified version because I don't have all the ingredients. I thought I did, but I don't. So we're hoping this turns out. I also didn't do onions or shallots because sometimes I can irritate the stomach. And no red pepper flakes because it can't be too spicy. Here we are with the shrimp. Gluten-free spaghetti boiling away. You gotta move fast. These suckers cook quickly, which is nice. And I will attach the recipe that I'm kind of using. I think it's Tyler Florence's recipe. Um, but again, it's barely, I don't have lemon juice, so I Googled and you can use a splash of rice wine vinegar instead. Thought I had lemons. I don't have lemons. It's Monday. Nothing is working out the way I planned. So anyway, that's what's going on today for dinner. <laughs> I have changed out of my nice shoes into my house slippers. I live in these. Probably need something else for when it warms up. These are very warm and cozy, my Ugg slippers, but probably not great. Well, you know what? I was gonna say once it's summertime, I just won't need slippers, but I will like the cool tile on my feet. As usual, I forgot to film, so here it is in the pan. What's left of it? Doesn't look all that interesting, but that's the leftovers. But how is it, guys? Good. Evidence by everybody having their mouth full of food, I'm gonna say it's good. So I will link the recipe, but uh, I don't really follow it all that closely, but I think it's pretty, pretty standard. So hope you guys like it. Um, so I am in the middle of filming a video that's coming up and I was just doing my B-roll, which means the stuff that I cut into while, while I'm talking about stuff and I just did all my swatches, look at my arm. Is this stuff not amazing? I don't know why my camera's pulling so dark right now, but this is all the milk makeup new eye pigments, all 11 of them. I mean, I'm not one for color, but how pretty are those? So I have all my face makeup on and I'm gonna just demo how I use these, not all of them, but how I use some of them for, or two of them, for an everyday eye look. Cause I've not tried the crazy colors. I don't even know, actually I do know, but that will be a later video. So um, if you're not subscribed, you should be, so you won't miss that one. Just a little self-promotion. Gotta go get changed and get this off my arm. Thank you to whoever, whoop, I almost died there. Thank you to whoever recommended putting a towel on the bottom of the tub. Oh, you smell so bad now. Wet dog, not a good smell. Rowdy is a little concerned. What is happening? Okay, some dogs don't look good wet. Rowdy would look exactly the same. All right, Miss the Thing. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Rowdy, can we please move? Meet me, girl. Gotcha. Oh, I don't want to get this towel soaked. Um, and I don't want to be soaked. Rowdy, you are very, very nosy. I know, Mies. I know. You are. Oh God, shake it off. Good girl, good girl. Wrigley, ah, Wrigley is way back there. Rabbi, go get him, go get him. This is insane. Do you see all, oh, this nothing. How does he get up to there? Rowdy, you're like a pancake. That's impressive. Okay, now there's no way Wrigley's coming up because Rowdy is, <laughs> this is nuts. Look at that face. Oh my god, could you be any cuter? Rowdy? Rowdy? Can you please come out? Can you come out? Can somebody come out? Please come out. 
All right, we got two clean dogs. I don't know, Riley's. <laughs> Mimi's having convulsions. That's one way of drying off. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you blessed your heart, little man. Okay, if a dog could say bad words, this one would be saying a lot of them. He is mad. Rowdy, he's okay. Rowdy, leave it. Okay, I know. I'm just going to get all wet with it here. We're already all wet. I had to climb in here with this one. Let's just get you out. I oh, know. Come here. Come here. There's only one way for him to get dressed. Rowdy, please leave him be. There's still more blue on him. Like, where did the blue stuff come from? That's from your father, your birthday present. Rabbit! And there he goes. One, two. I need a nap. Or a towel. Done. It's Wednesday. And I'm making breakfast. Quick breakfast, running a little late. Um, I'm making oatmeal, as I do pretty much every morning. Today is a little different because today I am going to, I don't even know how to, I was offered through a company called Real Self, realself.com, to um, in exchange for a free procedure to try out their website. And their website is all about plastic surgeons and dermatologists, I think dermatologists, anyone who does like cosmetic procedures. It's like um, kind of like an Angie's list for people who do, who want to get cosmetic procedures done so you can review doctors, look at their background, see if there's been any complaints, see um, what other people have had to say about stuff that they've done there. So it's not, it's not a sponsored video because I'm not getting paid, but I am getting a free service in exchange for trying their website. So I, they gave me like a list of procedures that I could choose from. And one of them was cool sculpting. I've always wanted to try it, but didn't. So, um, and one of the things that they recommend is that you have to be within your goal weight, which I am. And I still have a little bit of a little belly, mostly because I've had two kids and because I have hypothyroidism, which is where you tend to store your fat when you have hypothyroidism. So anyway, I have a 10 o'clock appointment for the consult, and if it goes well, then the, the procedure is scheduled for immediately afterward. And I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. A little, little bit nervous. What's this finger crossing? I meant like this. See, yeah, nervous. Anyway, I'm gonna make my breakfast so I don't pass out from nerves. And um, see in the car or there. It's gonna be a whole separate video too. So I'm vlogging for the video that'll go up in April. The video in April will be more about the website and then I'll do like my own video that has nothing to do with the company about like the actual procedure and, and Rowdy's, look at this. He opened the door, hi! How smart is that dog? I've never had a dog that could let himself in the house. Wow. All right, Michael's dropping me off with his trusty sidekick back there. You can't really see him, yep. but he's in the crate. Are you guys are going to the dog park? We are. Okay, well you have fun. I'm gonna get the fat like out of my stomach. I'm a little nervous. Have fun with that. <laughs> well, that's probably. Actually, I have a good book to read, so once my stomach goes numb, I'm hoping to enjoy a little quiet time. All right, I'll see you guys maybe inside. We'll see. So. It's been many hours. I kind of forgot to finish filming as I left, but it's, what time is it? It's almost six o'clock, getting mail. I feel great. I'm a little tender down here. Just wearing, you know, I'm not even really, I'm a little swollen. I feel like I'm expecting. Um, a little swollen, but not awful. And I'm not in pain. It's a little numb. It feels like a foot that, fall, that has fallen asleep, which is a little bizarre because it's my stomach, not a foot. But yeah, I'm fine. I'm really tired, but I think that's just because I'm fighting oak allergies. Doing my thing, cooking dinner, making steak. So we'll see. They say I can see results as early as three weeks. I'm not gonna hold my breath. More likely like two to four months, more like three to four months. So we will have, you guys will have to stick around for a while to see what happens. I hope you do, but in the meantime, I'm gonna make my steak and look at that sweet blurry dog. There he is. Look at him. 
Oh, it's a tail. And tomorrow you have your new kindergarten puppy class two. Yes, we're getting up there. That's a weird tail. What are you doing, Rowdy? Commit to the full wag. There you go. Good boy. It's Thursday. Today is Rowdy's first class in his second session of puppy kindergarten. I'm eating my bowl of oatmeal, which is quite delicious. And our homework was to write a list of the most valuable things in Rowdy's life. Like, what are his most favorite things? And this is what we came up with. What do you guys think? I couldn't put... I mean, those are mostly. We had to limit it to five. And I didn't think listing gnawing on human flesh was going to go over well with the instructor, so we left that off. But it's a good start. He's lying on the floor at Michael's feet while Michael cooks his breakfast, and he is gnawing on his old football. Not Michael, Rowdy. Michael doesn't chew on footballs. He's been known to lick a golf tee, but that's about it. Right? You gotta watch that football. That can get a little... Yeah, we got yeah. He's dangerous, man. I don't want him to get something to choke on. I know, he pulled the laces off, so I, I confiscated those. Okay. Who knew laces could come out of a football? That was awesome, baby. Hey guys, I realized I hadn't checked in with you all day. I did buy those shoes I tried on at Nordstrom. I'll insert a picture of them here. And then, and then I went on to, oh my gosh, chaos in the house. It's the dog's crazy show time. And then I went on to, the minute I turn on the camera, I swear. Went to Nordstrom, got two new bras, exciting times, and I just ordered a third one online from a company called Third Love. I'll let you know how that one turns out. I'd read good things about it from other bloggers, so we'll see. And now, Michael is en route to Mississippi to go pick up Jake. He, he really, really, he's been quiet all night. He looks forward to the drive. I don't know why. It's, he finds it relaxing his golf channel on his serious app and he just listens to golf. Jake has a friend, Jake, Shane has a friend sleeping over because um, his parents had to go out of town and I have the TV all to myself. So my friend Wrigley and I, Wrigley, Wrigley, hello, hello. We are gonna watch some Designated Survivor because it's back, yay! And that's it, that's my day. Sorry guys, I didn't vlog it. Don't eat the camera. God, he's trying to eat the camera. Alrighty then. We've got a lot more puppy kindergarten classes to handle, I think. <laughs> I'm going to go let this big boy out. By the way, he weighs 50 pounds. We weighed him at the class. 5-0. Oh. What? 
happened. We might be getting thunderstorms later today. We definitely had them last night, but right now it is glorious outside. And my flowers, well, I only have this set of flowers. My roses are blooming. Look how pretty. They're very tall now, which I like. And there's some creature that is living under this deck area here. I don't know what it is. I've come to investigate in daylight because the Westies cannot control themselves. They've gone berserk trying to get under this thing. It's freaking me out. And last night, or two nights ago, I guess, Wrigley would not come in the house. Ah, I see the hole. Right there. There's a hole to get in there. I could hear whatever it is scrabbling around under there. And it scared the daylights out of me. There's also an area right there it can get under. I don't know what it is. I know it's not a skunk, but what else could it be? I don't know. I don't know. My honeysuckle is not blooming yet. It's a little early. I'm just coming out here because our landscapers came today and I always have to come out and make sure, no matter who's been here, that the gate is securely fastened because we do not want the babies escaping. Good to go. All right. Double check the pool set, the uh, driveway side, but they usually never use that gate. So we are good. I can let the hounds out and let them enjoy some of this beautiful spring weather. I'm just making sure I don't talk, step in poop. Yep, we're good. Always that hazard. Could be poop. Can we get through a vlog without mentioning poop? No, probably never. Looking at the computer, I'm just editing some videos so I can get through spring break. And look, can you see? Let me see if I can focus or zoom. Do you see those two on the bridge? They're just hanging out, enjoying some sunshine. That's rig. Those are the boys. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, those are the boys. So cute. They're just watching the world, keeping an eye on the neighborhood. Actually, Rowdy looks like he's just staring at the door. Hi, Rowdy. So sweet. I'm hanging in the school parking lot, and one of the reasons I haven't been vlogging as long as I, as much as I usually do, is because I am insta storying. Say hi, everybody. See all the names go by. Say hi, you are on a vlog. We're talking about spring break and daylight savings time and vlogging. How weird is this? Anyway, you are totally missing out if you are not hanging out with me on Instagram, and you should do that. I'm gonna get back to the ladies and I'll see you later. I'm off to the Ole Miss San Antonio Club dinner. Parents, alumni, I guess it wouldn't be current students. But anyway, I just got ready, did my whole hair and face on Instagram Live, which was really fun. And I will list everything in the description box of what I'm wearing. The dress is really old from Loft. Love a drop waist. The shoes are really, really old from Via Spiga. If I can find anything that is still on the internet that looks remotely like these, I will link them, especially this dress. I find it to be very flattering. A drop waist dress is a lot of fun. Oh, somebody's nibbling on me. All right, gotta run, I'm gonna be late, and I don't wanna be called late for dinner. Rowdy. Oh. Rowdy! Look, you have the big dogs to play with. You are so cute! Did you guys get these from a breeder or just a yeah. So yeah. Rowdy. Here, here comes yeah, a big German Shepherd. Look, Jake exists. Say hi, Jake. Hey. With a beard, Jake exists. Okay, okay. Here comes. It's, it a, oh ball. my gosh, it's look at the size bringing, of that German Shepherd. It's, it's like the King it's Kong of Oni's yeah. peeing on his own toy. Yeah, that's different. Wow. Wow, that is the yeah. largest German Shepherd I've ever seen. Well, Rowdy's German. Rowdy, come, come here, buddy. Rowdy. You're like, yeah, Jake, you'll hold him back just to. Rowdy, kind of, Jake, you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> there you go, introduce him nicely. All right, that's okay, a lot of big dogs. Yeah, he just love great smell. Pyrenees. I love it. will be all right. That that's is the biggest big German, German Shepherd I've ever seen in my life. That's, that's Texas sized German Shepherd. He's gorgeous. <laughs> Throw oh, the nice. ball. 
he's five months. And then two and one. They're babies. How old is your guy? He's eight. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care about anybody else. He likes that. Yeah. Hanging at the dog park, rowdy and a new friend. Who's growling? You or the dog? That's the dog. Okay. Play, that's a playground. I know. No, that's his ball. Stay away from my ball. <laughs> <laughs> rowdy, don't take his ball. Making friends. Okay. Hey everyone, we just finished movie night watching, uh, what do we see, Captain America Civil War. Really not my cup of tea, but it was interesting. It's a very long vlog, so I'm just going to wrap it up by saying thanks again for choosing to spend 20 some odd minutes with me and a little bit of my family. And I will see you in the next one. Remember, Tuesday, Friday videos during the week and vlogs on Sundays. And here comes Rowdy. Good night!